ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of the C.D. Rakula Show. Today, show, we'll be taking a little tour around the cornfields as we visit the 1984 film, Children of the Corn! <laughs> As I said before, this is the review of the 1984 version of the film, not the 2020 version, just for the simple reason that I like this one better. Uh, the film was, of course, based, uh, as so many horror films are, on a short story by one of my goats of horror, Mr. Stephen King. Let me tell you this, if you've ever been in a cornfield at night, they are way scary. I go into quite a bit about cornfields and corn in general in my review of uh, The Devil in Ohio Netflix series that uh, not many people out there in YouTube land uh, actually watched. And frankly, I don't blame you, because uh, the series just wasn't that popular. I mean, I reviewed it anyway, just for fanzies. I actually think that uh, the one episode of the C.D. Rakula show on The Devil in Ohio is uh, more entertaining than the actual Hold On Netflix series. Not to be cocky, but whatever. Anyway, back to Children of the Corn, because they there is a lot to unpack with this film. Uh, suffice to say that cornfields are scary enough without a demon running around out there and coercing children of all people to go on a psychotic rampage and kill every adult in the town. Which is exactly what happens in Children of the Corn! <laughs> That kind of makes it fun, doesn't it? Okay, anyway, let's chat a second about he who walks behind the rose, as the demon in the cornfield is called. I keep calling him a demon, but uh, let me ask you guys out there in YouTube land, is uh, he who walks behind the rose really a, a demon, in fact? Uh, is he the devil? Uh, I kind of got a real devilish vibe in this 1984 film, to be honest. Though in the 2020 version, he kind of looked like a computer-generated cheesy version of the Swamp Thing or something. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, and if you follow my show, you know that most of the time I love seeing the actual creature that is causing all the mischief and mayhem. But uh, I actually think this 1984 film is the exception to the rule and is scarier because we don't really get to see the creature. And uh, we just have to kind of guess what the evil entity uh, may look like or, you know, what he even may be. So, uh, here's the question. Um, if you could comment down below, if it strikes your fancy, is he a demon? The devil? An alien, maybe? A swamp thing? Reincarnated in a cornfield? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, the film was directed by Fritz Kirsch, who, oddly enough, I, I previously mentioned Swamp Thing a couple times, because Fritzy Boy actually worked on the 1990 live-action TV series Swamp Thing. Uh, the cast itself for this film was another factor that, that just made it awesome. It included one of my own personal favorite actresses, Linda Hamilton, <laughs> whom is probably best known for playing uh, Sarah Connor in The Terminator. She was also in the film King Kong Lives. I don't know if you knew that out there. Maybe some of you guys have even seen it. I don't know. Uh, John Franklin, also in this film, and he was beyond creepy as he played the character Isaac Croner. 
I'll never forget the scene when Isaac is up on the cornstalk cross and he who walks behind the rose explodes the cross into the air and Isaac disappears, presumably dead, but returns and says, he wants you too, Malachi. He wants you too. <laughs> Of course, then Isaac chokes Malachi to death. Uh, isn't that a bloody bowl of cherries? I'll get to Malachi here in a second. Just relax. But I think uh, John Franklin's voice in general and uh, overall presence in this film is just very eerie. He had a hormone deficiency, so though he appears more like a child, in real life, John Franklin is an adult. And uh, that adds to his presence on the screen in this film. Um, I think he was maybe in his early 20s when he first portrayed the 12-year-old Isaac. The age discrepancy, uh, as I said before, only added to his presence in this movie. Uh, he was just a huge highlight for me, and I would have liked to see uh, John Franklin uh, in more horror films, you know. Uh, he did, however, reprise the role of Isaac in the 1999 film Children of the Corn 666. Isaac's return, where he once again played the dark priest, trying to bring back the worshipping of he who walks behind the rose. <laughs> uh, he was cousin It in the Adams family as well. <laughs> interesting change of roles there. Very interesting. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, to the red-haired, knife-wielding Malachi in this film, who kind of played the, uh, the muscle to Alex, uh, or Isaac's, I'm sorry, Isaac's brain. He was, uh, played by Courtney Gaines. Mr. Gaines has played parts big and small in multiple projects, but I will remember him for his part as Hans Klopek in the film. The Burbs, <laughs> which is another one of my favorite uh, comedic horror films of all time. Uh, here's another picture of him of ha as Hans. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty ridiculous, anyway. Uh, this Children of the, Fo the Corn film was uh, straight up scary and evil. Children can be very scary, can't they? I think people uh, sometimes discount uh, how scary the little kitties can be. A lot of evil and nastiness can be put in those little packages. I mean, think of... Pet Cemetery, The Omen, or even The Exorcist. <laughs> the children are definitely disturbed in this Children of the Corn film and definitely under the spell or under the influence of uh, He Who Walks Behind the Rose. All in all, I have absolutely zero choice but to give this film very high marks on the old scarometer. <laughs> great cast, great setting, and great story equals one heck of a whole filled thrill ride through the cornfields. Uh, Children of the Corn has gotten multiple spin-offs and sequels, but in my not-so-humble opinion, this is the one to watch and is sure to elicit an emotion. P.S. That emotion is fear. Duh, you should have known that. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for joining me here on the CD Rakula Show, and if you could please like, share, and subscribe to the show, I would be most grateful. Please make sure to join me next episode when I review the 1992 film Army of Darkness! <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Anytime you have Ash, played by uh, Bruce Campbell, you know you're in the presence of whore greatness. So, uh, till next time, my little human blood smoothies out there, when you're out shucking corn in the fields, 
Try not to be out there after dark. And if you hear something rustling around, you uh, better hightail it out of there. Because he who walks behind the rose may be a coming. And he wants you to. He wants you to. <laughs> Bye-bye for now. <laughs>